show IP route. Let's just ping these loopbacks real fast. You can see that I've learned these uh, the loopbacks of router zero via rip. So if I ping them, let's make sure that I have full reachability. Okay, I'm good. So now what we're going to do, we're going to create the access list. We go under uh, global config, access list. Then you can see here we're going to use uh, just one to create a standard ACL because we're just going to be um, we're just going to be matching based on the source IP address. That's what standard ACLs do. So access list one, we're going to do. Um, we can do here. What we'll do? Um, what should we do here? What we'll do? We'll uh, we'll permit the ten network from router zero, and then we'll deny the twenty network. So we'll go down here, and we'll do a. Uh, a permit then we're going to do the host uh, 192.168.10.0 and then here we specify basically our subnet but in wildcard uh, format so it's just going to be 0 .0 .0 0 0.0.0.255 remember the zeros are, are a must match so it must match 192 must match 168 must match 10 and then 255 says okay anything in the fourth octet doesn't have to match so that's going to give us our slash 24 mass and here we're just going to log the event so we can see when we we, we uh you know match when when we're hitting uh that this uh permit statement in the acl we'll be able to, to see that every time it'll count up so now what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and uh we'll just do before we do this, I guess, what we should do is go here. Um, if we were to go to router zero and try to tell net over to, uh, let's just try to tell net, you know, 1.1, which is the loop back of router zero. We'll just try to tell net, you know, that'll take us to router, I'm sorry, the loop back of router one. Well, this should take us to router one if we tell net to this. You can see here we get the following message open, uh, password required but none set. So what we can do here, real easily to fix this, um, we just go under the, the VTY virtual terminal lines, line VTY. You can see here we have 1276, so we'll just do them all, implement this for all the lines, 0 through 1276. What we want to do is pull the set no password right now. And now, if I try to tell that in, oh, that still doesn't work. Okay, I think I found out uh, what we need to do here. We go under the, the V2Y lines again, line V2Y 0 through 1276. We just do a no login. Now that should do it. So let's go back to the console. Try to tell net. Okay, see now you can see now we now we're in the router one. Um, you can also verify this on router one uh, if you do a show users. You can see here that uh, see on VTY zero is uh, is where I am uh, telneted in from. I can now a cool trick I can do is I can you know uh, get rid of this session if I just do a clear line you know line number here which I specify which is two twenty six or I can clear it based on the VTY line which is clear line VTY zero and now what you see here is if I do a show users is it's not there anymore so if I go back to router zero you can see the connection was closed so that's this is a way if you know you got people in your router that you don't want or whatnot uh, you can just clear them out by doing that command that uh, clear line VTY or clear line and then specify the line number that they're on Okay, so on router one, if I do a show access list, 
see here that I have my just standard uh, ACL1. If I go in there and I'm going to add to it, access list 1. What I'm going to do is deny 192.168. I'm going to deny the my loopback 1 interface on router 0, which is the 20 network. So 20, and then uh, specify the wildcard, which is 0.0.0.255, .0 which is my subnet mass. And then I'm going to log this as well. And then I'll just put on here, um, I'll just put a blank, uh, uh, pretty much access list. I'm going to do uh, implicit deny any. So, well, no, I'm just going to do access list one, deny any, and then I'm going to log that. So I can see any matches, anybody else. You know, who doesn't meet these two criteria gets hit up by this last uh, one on the ACL, which is pretty much denying everything. Okay, so now if I do a show access list, you can see here that I have my uh, three statements. Sorry about that, I'm still trying to get used to the uh, putty. Uh, putty copy feature. So, uh, ACL uh, sequence 10 is telling us permit 192.168.10.0 with the wildcard bit 0 .0 0.0.0.255, which is basically slash 24. And then everything else I'm pretty much denying. So over here, on router 0, What I have to do actually on router one first before I do this is I need to go under the VTY lines. There's a line VTY 0 through 1276. And then here to apply the access list, you have you know two ways to apply it, inbound or outbound. What we're gonna do is all telnet sessions we want to deny in to our router. Right? So it's gonna be inbound. It's real easy to remember. We just want to deny telnet traffic into our VTY lines. So that's inbound. So we're going to do here access class. Instead of access group is what you would do on a regular uh, you know, interface like fast Ethernet or serial. It's actually access group, you know, and then the uh, ACL number, our word. But for the VTY lines, it's access class. Then we're going to specify our ACL that we created up here, which is ACL, standard ACL1. And then here, before we uh, filter either incoming or outgoing, we're going to filter into the router. So access class 1 in. And that should be it. So if we go to router 0, 